Jai Dhanendra, my name is Dev Shah and I will be narrating the story of Little Timmy. Today I will take you through the journey of a soul, journey of Little Timmy. Little Timmy was born question but spent a long time with his Jain friends. And he's always been fascinated by the Jain religion and wanted to learn more. So while, during his uh, walk home, he comes across the Jain Magic Museum. And he, well, this is his perfect chance to learn more. So he enters and does a bit of exploring. And comes across the magic magic info room. It's a stand near a frame. So little Timmy does exactly that. Uh, approaching the first painting, boom, he's teleported into the painting itself. He reads about the eight karmas and he reads karma particles are non living matter scattered all around us and all over the universe. These karma particles are attracted to our soul, and those who are attracted to our soul are called karma. There are eight types of karma. Reading all of this, little Timmy goes back into the portal where then he is teleported again into the next painting. He reads about the no tattvas. In the first painting he reads four Jiva Jiva Punya. Then he go he goes towards the Mordor and boom he reads about the next five tattvas. After reading all this little Timmy heads to the portal and is then teleported into the next painting, which is Ashav. Ashav is one of the tattvas Dil Timmy has heard this before. It refers to the influence of body, mind, and speech, causing the soul to generate karma. There are five types of Ashavs. After reading all of this, Dil Timmy heads back into the portal, where then he is teleported again into the next painting, which is Sambar. The manner by means there is stoppage of fresh karma, not only can affect the soul. And this is also one of the, the tattvas. There are five types of summers. Reading all of this, little Timmy goes back inside the portal. Where then he is supported into the next one, which is Nidra. Also one of the tattvas, and it refers to shedding karma. To free the soul from uh, all karma it has done. Hence, shedding of karma. There are 12 types of Nidras to subdivide into two categories, external and internal. He reads this and then walks towards the Mordor where he is teleported into the internal Nidra slide, where he reads about internal Nidra, then walks towards the portal, where then he is teleported into the 18 Papistanics painting. We indulge ourselves into pop every day in our lives and to be mindful of these pops and to avoid them. In our lives, he reads about all the 18 types of pops that you can do, and Timmy is to be mindful of these and not do them in his daily life. Which then he heads towards a portal and into the next painting, which is Kashai. There are four types of Kashais, and Kashai is also a part of the 18 Papastana. There are uh, the four types of Kashais are Kod, Manmaya, and Lob. Kashais will always hinder the spiritual progress of soul. Reading all of this, Timmy goes back into the portal to go into the next slide, which is boom, Pratikaman. It is a way of Nidra, and there are five types of Pratikamans Rasi, Devasi, which is morning and night, fortnightly uh, Pratikaman, which is Paishak, Chomasi, and Samachari is quarterly and yearly. Reading all this, little Timmy heads back into the next painting, and the, which is Dhyan. Dhyan is a way of meditation. It, con the, it is conducted by the means of concentration on a particular topic and blocking the mind from wandering. One who stabilizes the mind and con concentrates on self definitely achieves salvation. There are four types of Dhyan. Reading all of them, little Timmy heads back into the portal, where then he is teleported into the next and final painting, which is 12 ruts. In order to conduct the life of layman as per Jain principles, Jain teachings are for 12 ruts. They are divided into 5 anavas, 3 marabas, and 4 disapiva. Reading all of them, Timmy goes back inside the portal and into the magic info room. Reading all this information, he wants to apply this in his daily life, which then he goes back into his walk home. Comes across a girl doing Ganavarna Karma. Please get off this book. You are disrespecting knowledge and doing great sin. No, I don't believe in any of the superstitions. She is doing Dajarana and Ganamarana karma. They are not the superstitions. Please, you might get hurt as well. Okay, fine. 
As she's about to get down, little Timmy says, You dropped your phone. Let me get that for you. No, do not touch my phone. It is very personal and I treat it like my baby. I am very attached to it. So do not uh, touch it. I repeat, do not touch it. You should not get attached to such items. I don't care what you said, but my phone just don't touch it. Uh, after handling the situation, Timmy ha moves on with his day and then is approached by a man. Hey, do you want to enjoy something exciting called special type of super sweet and sour pack of candy? Only five dollars. Timmy replies politely, no thank you, I'm good. Ah, take some candy right now and give me your money. Relax, I'm not interested in candy. It just tastes good at first, but then will give you sore throat and sickness, addressing the waiting requirement that the man has. Maybe I just had a bad day. It's okay, I will forgive him and just give him some money and not and won't take any candy. Here, don't give me the candy, just take some of this money. In this scene, the candy seller is doing karma by Ashraf, such as Pramad Ashraf, Abhirti, and Kashai. He is showing these Ashrafs because he has a lack of his strength, which is Abhirti, and having unawareness and not being mindful of his actions in Pramad. He, he expresses his passion like anger, aggression, thus showing Kashai Ashraf. And little Timmy is doing a uh, great extensive summer. At this point, little Timmy is conducting himself through some empty summer, controlling his religious values and restraining his reaction to the candy cell. He's not rude to him, thus blocking his karma by means of Basha Samiti. As a result, he is also curbing his actions between a man of Achan and Kai, leading to Gupti's summer. Then little Timmy uh, moves on with his day and then sees an Acharya Bhagwan. Oh my god, Acharya Bhagwan is sitting right there, about to sit for his breath. Come on, let me wait here until he is done. Mathen Mandabi Gurudev, sorry to disturb you, but can you please give me the 12 hours of Shavak? Yes, of course. I just want the first A, which which is, the first one is Ahimsa, which is non-violent, right? Yes, but Ahimsa cannot occur physically, but through Mano and Vachan as well. Okay, I'm clear on the next four, but I not fully understand the merit vows. The merit vows are the ones that you do uh, to prevent the karma that you do on a day to day basis. The first one is Digvra, which limits the area of activity to. The second one is Boga Bogvra, which limits the amount of consumables and non consumables you do. The third and final one is Natadanvra, which is to avoid an, any unnecessary sins like gossiping, hurting someone's feeling, and etc. Oh, okay, Acharya, I fully understand all eight vows and will take them. Yes, certainly. Good thing, Yasmin Gurudev, I will take these vows. Then is then later in his day he sees a man swatting at flies. Hey, don't swat at the flies. They have a life too, you know. Stop. You have to stop. Why? I don't care about his life. Flies is bothering me, so I will kill it. And I'm angry, and I really hate flies. I wish they never even existed. Then just move away. You're doing a bigger sin by hurting that fly. What are you to tell me? You dare say anything to me? Do you even know who I am? Nobody tells me anything. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Relax. I do not mean to offend you. But I'm just kindly requesting you to leave the fly alone. Please. Oh, okay, fine. In in this, he expresses Papstanaks, five, five of the Papstanaks, and two of the Kashais. Parati Pap by doing violence to the fly, Krodan Ma, Man Kalaha by quarreling, Tuesh by showing hatred towards the flies. Handling the situation, Timmy finally arrives home. Sorry, Mom, I want to go check out a uh, museum. I really want to pursue uh, Jain Jainism and not Christianity. That religion is nothing. Were you listening to that man in force? He was always speaking false and, and is insane. His theories are not true. Don't listen to him. No, that religion is not nothing and I'm sticking with my decision. Then, if you consider being a Christian, then you could also uh, not be consider not being my son. What? Little Timmy goes to his room and decides to meditate. He remembers about the non-exhibition of the Dhyan by which he can uh, identify his suffering and with the down through which he can analyze his pain, which was the loss of his dad. He eventually decides to leave leave his mom and home and to shut off his karma by doing Nidra. He decides to do Anasan, Rasatyag, Unadari, and Prashit by doing Pratikaman. Little Timmy leads to his spiritual journey.